Hey folks, how are you guys doing? Hope you're all having a great Tuesday as usual. So uh, the last project, or the last video on the main channel was finishing up these gift boxes. And I am super, super pleased with how these turned out. And, and I know that's all I say with these projects lately, but yeah, I'm really, really glad that uh, uh, I ended up making four of these instead of one. Cause like I said previously, my original intentions were to just make one and be done. Uh, but I'm glad I, get, I did four because I've got four really cool gifts to give out for Christmas. And giving is, is just so much fun, uh, especially when it's something you've made. So the finish turned out great on these. And I know it's hard to um, convey the final outcome of a finish because I'm, you know, this is video. You can't touch this and you can't interact with it physically. So it's hard to convey that. But I'm like blown away pleased at how like silky smooth and just even the finish turned out. So what I did, and I didn't go into much detail in the video, what I did was built up a couple thick layers with um, a brush and then knocked all that smooth with 220 grit paper and then built up three or four coats uh, really thin with Oh, I thought I had it here with me. Anyway, uh, a rag. Basically, you take a rag, roll it up into a ball, put that ball into another rag, and then pull it tight and tie it off so it's kind of like a little ball dipper, I guess. Um, but anyway, that allows you to put really thin coats on that, that lay nice and flat. Uh, and then, because they are so thin and you are working with shellac, by the time you get to the opposite side of the project, the, where you started with is already dry and ready to go again. So you just build up several coats quickly and uh yeah and it's just it's just so silky smooth if you've never worked with shellac do yourself a favor go out to your local home center and get a small little quart of it um and i, I don't pre-mix my own shellac i know other people do uh and supposedly it's you'll get a better result if you buy your own shellac flakes and and um put put them in denatured alcohol and make your own i don't do that i, I just be honest with you i don't i get the um Zinzer Bullseye Shellac. And I thinned this 50-50 with uh, denatured alcohol to kind of just have it go on there a little bit more thin. That was my objective. Thinner coats, multiple thinner coats for just about any finish will turn out better than fewer thicker coats. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, man, it's so smooth. I wish, I wish I could just like pass this around in the audience. Like, yeah, smooth. Nice. And, and by the way, like I don't really, I don't really like to talk about problems much, so I haven't mentioned it, but the, this past summer, you probably, uh, in the beginning of 2016, if you guys have been following me a while, you may have noticed that I've had like some sinus issues and, and uh, a slight cough here and there and such. Uh, well, last, in the, in the summer, I went to a ear, nose and throat specialist and um, I'm bringing this up because it sounds like I'm out of breath and so I sound nasally, so. Basically, I've got like a deviated septum in my nose. My nose is all jacked up on the inside and I can't really breathe through it too much. So here lately, I've really been sounding nasally. And because I can't really breathe through my nose when I talk a lot, I sound like I'm out of breath, which I kind of am. Um, but anyway, so I just thought I'd throw that out there in case it sounds like I can't breathe right now. Um, but also because of which, I'm having surgery on my nose. I've never had surgery before in my life, so it's kind of weird. But I'm having surgery on my nose uh, between Christmas and New Year's. So I'd like to get ahead on a couple projects that way I can have some stuff um, to publish. I can have actual content to release while I'm not in the shop because I know I'm gonna have to be out of here for like a week or so away from all this crap. Uh, but anyway, um, that brings me to this week's project which should be a really quick one and a quick win for me personally because it's something that I'm really looking forward to. You guys may recall I mentioned the uh, idea of using pipe clamps as like a bucket pod. Put this in a bucket of concrete with some casters on the bottom and kind of roll it around as like a tripod. Well, it's a single pole, so it's gonna be a monopod stand, camera stand. Uh, I guess you could just call it a camera stand. If you Google camera, a studio camera stand, that's kind of the concept I'm going after. Uh, but anyway, so I've had this thought about using half inch pipe and pipe clamps for a long time. Well, this confirms that the half inch pipe is just, it's just too flimsy for the main post. 
So I'm not going to use the pipe for the main post, uh, half inch iron pipe. And instead, I'm going to use a thicker pole. The um, you know Jeremy Schmidt here on YouTube, he made made a camera stand out of a one and a quarter inch diameter pipe. So I went out and got one too. This is a, uh, I couldn't find a one and a quarter inch. So this is one and 13 sixteenths fence post and it's eight feet tall. So I'm gonna have to cut it down so it'll go underneath my center post of the garage door opener. <clears throat> but it should work out all right in the long run. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the off cut as this arm or still just use a piece of half inch pipe for this arm because there's not much wiggle gonna, in that short of length. But anyway, the, the main objective for me coming out here and mocking this up was I never really had a working idea for this, this bracket right here. So this allowed me to figure out what I want emphasis on, what pieces I wanted to have more leverage on in order for them to work properly or easier, I should say. Um, and yeah, this whole system is just a mock-up, but it's, it's working out all right. And it's given me a good idea as to what I think will work and where I need improvements. I didn't allow enough room right here and this all cracked on both of them. But like I said, this was just a quick little mock-up and getting, getting an idea in, in actual reality rather than just SketchUp because sometimes it does help to physically see it. <laughs> so I am gonna use the larger diameter pipe here and I don't know what base I'm going to use to put the pipe into. My original idea was to use just a five gallon bucket and put an 80 pound bag of quick cement in it, quick concrete, mix that up and it'll be done. <coughs> um, Jeremy Schmidt used a low profile platform to keep the center of gravity really low, uh, center mass down low. Anyway, so I'm gonna play around with that and figure out what I wanna do with mine. Uh, but my objective is to have a solid center pole that goes up pretty high because I've got some extra computer monitors and I was thinking like, man, it would be kind of pretty cool if I could mount, like to have the whole camera arm here and then put the monitor above it. So the, the camera I'm using now doesn't have a flip forward monitor, which uh, my old camera, I've been, uh, the past month or so, I knew I was gonna move on from this one. So the past month or so, I did not flip forward the screen. So you can see, like you can normally see yourself like in selfie mode or looking through the lens. So I kept it into this orientation to see if I could get used to it, which I can, and it's no problem at all. But it would be pretty cool too, to have a big monitor up there so you could roll the thing around and have like a nice little compact studio setup, but still see what's going on at all times. Because at the end of the day, this, this is a wood shop, but it's also a studio too, so. Anyway, kind of rambled there. Looking forward to getting this one done and hopefully I should be able to get it done midweek and move on to the next one and keep the, uh, keep the projects going. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys this week. Uh, oh, December 8th was four years uploading videos to YouTube. So it's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, anyway, you guys take care, have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.